Hey guys, I want to talk about uh, Flexbox a little bit. Um, so there's some great video tutorials out there if you're interested in trying to align things with Flexbox or with Display Flex property. Um, some great ones are the West Boss series uh, with the Flexbox, and then there's some great uh, uh, articles about it on CSS tricks. Um, so both of those I would highly recommend. Um, I just wanted to show you a few things of some real practical ways that you can use Flexbox. So this is a stat tracker app that I'm, I'm in the process of building and I just made this here, uh, this nav bar with um, some divs to it. Let's see, I need to restart this. Um, so I just made this nav bar here and um, I've got home stats, activities, about us, log out. They're all in a div and the, the default alignment for a div is uh, kind of a vertical stacking and then I've got these on a uh, text align with some margins. So let's just get rid of that um, altogether and see what it does. So you see, without that, uh, kind of the default, it's just going to uh, default to a, a default size. It's going to stack them vertically uh, because they're all divs and it's going to put them right there in the top left hand corner. And that's the default for everything. So if we didn't have any styling on our page at all, um, that's what it would look like. And you can see. You know, here if we did that with everything, um, and I'm having trouble doing that right now. See, it's just going to do that with everything. That's the default for all of this. It's going to be um, right hand side of the page. Um, it's just going to stack it all like that. So let's get rid of that, put our styling back on. And right now we're just concerned about this little area here with the nav bar. So normally there's kind of one way that you might tackle um, aligning this. Let's say that we want this, these nav bar items to uh, spread across the page, right? So one way that we could do that is to give them a display of um, inline. We'll do inline block. And that's going to change it. it the, instead of the, the default of stacking vertically, inline block is going to space them out. Uh, this way, but it's still not going to leave a lot of space in between each item. It's just going to take one and you can see I've got this little thing here. It's just going to put one right beside the other one. So if you wanted some space in between each one, you'd have to do something like this where you put a margin on the left, um, maybe 10 pixels, and then a margin on the right of maybe 10 pixels. And there is shorthand for this, but I'm doing this uh, the long way so you can see everything that I'm doing. Margin top, you know, we'll do another 10 pixels. And just to give it some space, margin bottom uh, 10 pixels. See what that would look like here. And so you can see it spaces it out a little bit better. But we want it more centered on the page maybe, right? So you might have to do something like this where you've got uh, 20 pixels and you kind of have to mess around with it until you get just the right spacing that you want. That's a little closer, but it's still not great, right? So maybe it's 30. And now, you know, this is fine, but imagine if you have a lot of content. Imagine me trying to space out everything on the page and you can see how I have everything centered on the page down here. It's centered vertically. It's centered horizontally. It looks nice. Imagine trying to do that all the way we're doing it here with pixels. Of, well, you know, 20 pixels isn't right. Maybe it's 30. Maybe it's 40. You know, how do you do that? Um, let's take all this off. Because what we're doing right there is we're aligning every single item individually. Um, and we have each of these items on a class called item. The way Flexbox works is it allows us to... Um, instead of tackling each item individually like home, stats, activities, it allows us to uh, make display properties of the entire nav bar. So all of these items are contained within one div called a nav bar. So we would actually make the nav bar, instead of doing an inline block on the item, we would make the nav bar display flex property. Um, and immediately the display default display for flex is uh, row. So if we wanted to change that back to a column, we would do flex direction column. And that changes it back just to the way that we had it. Um, we could change it back to row if we want to. And you can see again, that's a lot like it was when we had it just a minute ago where we did inline block, still just the same space between each one. So you're probably thinking, well, what's the point? 
why do it one way instead of the other? Well, let me show you. This is the, the magic of it. Here we had to mess around with margins. You know, we did margin 20 pixels, 30 pixels, 40 pixels, whatever it happened. Um, here we can do just justify content. So there's several ways we can do this. We could do justify content center, and that's going to justify all the content in that main div of navbar in the center of the page. Instead of trying to space each individual item out, it's spacing all of them out in the middle of the page. Still doesn't look great, right? So there's other ways that we can do this. We could do flex in. It's going to put them all on that side. Or the default, which is flex start, um, which we don't really have to justify because it'll do the flex start anyway. And you're still probably thinking, well, that doesn't look great, Ethan. Why are you even showing us this? This is a waste of time. Um, well, here's where it gets interesting. If you do space between, it'll space them all out individually on the middle of the page. Um, or you could do space around, which adds a little space in between the first and the last item. So it distributes that negative space evenly between each one, um, which is, is a pretty cool thing. Now, if we did this, if we change this flex direction back to column, really quickly, it, uh, it, it turns them back to, to the column, and then we can do justify or uh, align items. If I could spell. And we can align them in the middle of the page if we want to. We could align the items flex end, or we could do flex start. And so, you know, you can see um, that align items, justify content gives us way to quickly, you know, distribute items across a page one way or another way, align them, center them, whatever we want without having to uh, individually move each item. It, it just tackles all the properties within uh, a specific area. So there's a lot that you can do with Flex um, to, uh, uh, to distribute items. Um, another cool thing is if we uh, have here, let's change this back to center just for the heck of it. Um, and then we can give each of the items a margin. Let's do just the top and bottom margin of 20 pixels. And, and you can see it evenly distributes that uh, negative space around each item, which is pretty cool instead of having to kind of do uh, each individually. Um, and then we can change, you know, change it back to row. Um, if we wanted to, and it still keeps that uh, negative space at the bottom of each item. Um, so Flex is a really powerful tool that can make things a lot simpler for you as you're beginning to line items up. Um, all the items on this page actually are aligned with Flex, so you can see how it work, might work with other items as well. Um, this one down here is a bounding box called List Item, and these list, this bounding box right here is a list item, uh, is, is the list item class, and I have it set to a column uh, wrap, and then everything is justified in the center of it. And so uh, basically what it's doing is it's taking this title here, this title here, and then this box and putting those in a column in the center of the page. And that's the same way I have this one done. I have this as, as a flex item, this you know, box here. And so everything is in a column, one title, this title, uh, these input boxes, and then this submit are all in a column uh, spaced out kind of in the center. And then these activities are actually all within a flex box as well. And so each activity is in a column wrap. And so basically what it's doing is gonna, it's gonna justify them on the right side. And then once it gets down to the bottom here, it's gonna wrap them and make another column and another column and another column. And you can do something like this here where if you change this to row, and you can see instead of being in a uh, in a column, it's going to space them out in a row, and then it's going to wrap them that way, which we wouldn't really want because that isn't a really great way to align things. But you can see how quickly I was able to change that instead of aligning things with margins and with padding. Um, it just spaces everything out for you a lot more more quickly. Um, you know, and you can see on this one here, 
Uh, let's do align items um, flex in, and you can see really quickly how we're able to change the alignment from the left to the right if we wanted to do something like that. Um, we could do change it back to flex start, or we could do uh, center. And all the items in here are going to be uh, center instead of right, uh, left. I mean, and of course the default is uh, left, which really looks the best. And so we'll kind of keep it that way. But really quickly, we're able to change the alignment, the justification of uh, everything. And let's just for you know uh, the heck of it, let's do justify content, and we'll change it to space around, and that gives it a little more space in between each item. Um, you can see that it did there. You can also change this to center, which I believe it already is, so that's not really going to change anything. So um, really some neat ways that you can play around with the uh, Flex property. Um, I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.